back to P3. We're again joined by sacred travel writer Robert Shear, who has journeyed around the world in search of the most amazing spiritual places on the earth. Uh, Robert, we're, I think we're going through the top 10 sacred places. You've told some amazing stories about places that most people wouldn't even know about. Uh, obviously, Dome of the Rock is a well-known one, but some of these other ones are incredible. Now we're at number seven, the Growing Stone. What is that? This is in a little Hindu temple in Fiji, and a lot of people, most people who go to Fiji go there for the sun, and yeah. that, it, that's wonderful, uh, but... Um, the, uh, I was told that there's this cobra-shaped stone uh, around which a, a temple has been built that used to be smaller than it is, and, and it's, it keeps growing larger. But the most interesting thing to me was that they told me that um, many years ago, they wanted to build a road uh, through where the temple was, and they wanted to, like, bulldoze the temple and move the stone. But the trouble was that whenever a guy got ready to, to do the, the job, mm -hmm. the bulldozer driver would, would be sick. And uh, he, uh, th every time somebody was going was gonna to try to move right. the stone, they would get ill and wouldn't be able to do their job. They finally realized that maybe something is telling us that we shouldn't be moving this stone and so eventually they diverted the road around it. and now it's an adorned a sacred place and they obviously uh, put uh, offerings around it and there's uh, something sacred about this area people feel that um, again it's similar to the uh, the phallic rock in in Hawaii that uh, that uh, this aids fertility so a lot of uh, couples who are having trouble conceiving children will, will make an offering this, to this, uh, this rock this number eight is very interesting it's a British Columbia site I can't believe it makes it in the top ten. Mm -hmm. Tell me why the Stein Al. First of all, where is it and why is this spot so sacred? Well, the Stein Valley is uh, outside of Lillooet, B.C. Um, it's just beyond hope. And you, you take a, the ferry across the, uh, the river uh, from, uh, from Lytton. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's First Nations land. It's now a uh, provincial park. And it's the place where traditionally uh, youth have gone for vision quests when they uh, come of age. They train with shamans or wise women or their grandparents or whatever sometimes they would uh, do elaborate ceremonies of uh, sweat lodges and fasting but the point is that they would camp in these sacred places by the river uh, for the purpose of having visions that would tell them what they should do with their life and they would uh, then paint the pictures of their vision spirits that came to them on the rocks and you can still see some and of these, these rocks. And these have obviously been around for thousands of years and you can see some of these thousand year old paintings right here in our backyard in British Columbia. They're uh, pretty worn but yeah. you can still make some of them Amazing. Number nine.